When Varjon and Cosette left the house in the Rue Plumet, Cosette was very sad. Varjon saw this, but he said nothing. In the Rue de la Mame, Cosette stayed in her bedroom. Toussaint took her meals up to her. In the night, Valjean could not sleep. The city was quiet, but for how long? He went outside the house and stood in the street, listening. There were voices in the next street, and then he heard singing, a boy singing. Gavroche came up the street. Looking at the house numbers, he saw Valjean and stopped. Well, young man, what's the news? The news is that I'm hungry. Valjean put his hand in his pocket and found a five francs piece. Gavroche stared at him. He didn't see many five francs pieces, and he was very pleased to see this one. He put it in his pocket. You're all right. Do you live in this street? Do you know number seven? What do you want with number seven? Letter for someone, a woman. Valjean stared at him. He felt cold. A woman, Cosette. He remembered that once the young man in the Luxembourg. He tried to smile. Ah, that's the letter for Cosette. I'm waiting for it. Yes, that's her. Well, here you are. It comes from the barricade in the Rue de la Chambrerie. I'm going back there now. Good night, Monsieur. Boy, stay away from there. Do you understand? Jean Valjean went back into the house with Marius's letter. He read it quickly. I love you. I can never forget you. So, Cosette, his dear, dear daughter, was in love. She was his world. Without her, his life was nothing. He could not even think about it. When I'm dead, don't be sad. Those words gave him hope. So the young man was one of the rebels at the barricade. When the soldiers are shooting, that's the end of all the rebels. I do nothing. I say nothing. I keep this letter. Nothing changes in our lives. But Valjean did not feel easy. He remembered all their happy years as father and daughter, and he saw again Cosette's sad eyes when they left the Rue Plumet. How could he take her away to England? He turned and went out of the room. A little later, he left the house. Wearing dark clothes and carrying a gun, and walked away down the street.